Okay, so we're going to talk about posts now with Google My Business um, in, in this episode. So um, again, you know, I'm a web developer. It's a little bit more difficult for me because I work from home. I don't have a, a, a an office. So Google My Business doesn't really do a huge amount for me, although it still does some stuff. So these are the different things you've got to offer. You've got adding an offer, so you, like a short-term offer, like it might be 20% off for the, for the next week. So you can see here. What's the offer title, more details, offer details, coupon code, optional, link to redeem, terms and conditions. You can also add a time. Uh, what's new, and that'll be a blog post type thing. Events, again, every one of these has an image. And you can even add products. So you can add products, create your own categories of products. I don't actually sell any actual products. Well, there's services more than products. So, um, so let's look at this and let's think okay what can we do so we're going to do a little uh, blog post now so i'm going to start with this and i'm going to add a photo so what i'm going to do is search for a photo i'm going to grab one from my desktop and drag and drop it here i don't need to put a um a caption on the on the image you can actually resize the image as well but what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, copy some data from my blog from a blog post so here I've got the, the this blog post here and so I'll start with that even though that's my excerpt and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put number one here and I'm going to put a little bit of spacing there now remember I can actually put links in here to the Google my business to this listing okay and I might do that, but you can also add a button here to learn a learn more button. Then you put a link to your to your article. So I'll just put the link to my article. But because I want to track the data, um, I'll, I'm going to go into uh, Do I need a Google Business listing? So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to click, click Create. I'll move that over here so you can see how I do this. I've got my own URL shortener. Okay. Then I'm going to put in the title of the of the article into the into into Bitly. That will give you that. And then I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to do, use this twice in this article. You, you could split it up in in the article yourself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that link there. So now I can track how many clicks I get from that. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do is put a bit more information in there uh, into the article. So I'm going to put, you know, get a bit of juice going there and probably go down to that title there. And then I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to put uh, read more, uh, continue reading. And obviously. I'm the, one of the world's worst two-finger typers there is. And then I'm going to go back to my bit.ly thing again. Um, ah. Should have saved that. No, I did save it, but let's have a look where it is. I've actually, here we go, here we go. Click on this one, copy that link, go back in here. I can actually even re rename the link with that. Um, so there you go. So I've created a Google My Business listing. I've got a photo. I've got the the, the uh, information there, and learn more. Click that, and then I, all I'm doing is click publish. Oops, it's got too many characters. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to go back to here. So you, 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 your maximum is fifteen hundred. Click publish, and there you go. That post is now on Google. Uh, Google My Business. So when I look down here, more well, it's still not here yet. Maybe it's here. No. That's one of the previous ones. There we go. See see the links appeared in there? It's probably not the best image to, to use in there. I should resize that really. But there you go. Continue reading there plus click here. So I get both the links in Google, both linking to my uh business so you might want to the short links work real uh, a lot better than the long ones because they bleed off onto the other page on the long ones 
um, but with the long links. But you don't necessarily have to use it. You can also use UTM um, tags, so uh, campaign tags for your links, so you can tr track those links as well. But that's pretty much how you create a, a blog post or anything in Google My Business. Okay, so I, I'm going to click on this again. I, I don't know if we, I don't know if I could fix that now. It's too late. Yeah, but anyway, there you go. That's how you create a, a, a post in, in uh, Google uh, My Business. Um, pretty simple, really. I uh, hope you. I hope this has helped you. Uh, you can add products, events, uh, all that. There you are. There are some limitations, but they're usually fairly simple, sensible ones. Um, uh, for, for people doing CBD and stuff like that, that seems to work too. I've been reading about people being posting in there, although Google might flag that that sort of stuff. Who knows? But you know, anything to do with terrorism, pornography, all of that sort of stuff is out. So you can't do that sort of stuff. Well, there you go. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video.